In this video, we're going to talk about the least common denominator. So let's determine the LCD for these two fractions. Well, when we write the multiples for 2 out, and when we write the multiples out for 8, the smallest multiple they have in common is 8. So the LCD here is 8. Now, 2 is 2 to the first, and 8 is 2 cubed. Now, which of those values was the LCD? Well, that was 8. So both of them did have a factor of 2. Now, which one did we pick? We picked 2 cubed. So keep that in mind. So to determine the LCD with rational expressions, we're going to factor each denominator completely, list the common factors. If factors are common except for their exponent power, then list the factor with the higher exponent power, then list the factors that are not in common. The product of all factors in step two is the least common denominator. Okay, so let's determine the LCD for these fractions. So for the first example, we need the least common multiple of 6 and 8. Well, in that case, that's 24 because 6 times 4 is 24, and 8 times 3 is 24. Both denominators contain factors of x, so we take the higher exponent power, which in this case is x squared. Both denominators contain a factor of y, so we take the higher exponent power, which is 5 in this case, and that's my least common denominator. Okay, let's take a look at the next example. Before we do this problem, I want to do a very quick example here. Well, what's the LCD here? Well, that's 6. The denominators have absolutely no factors in common except 1. So what did we do? We multiply 2 times 3. For this denominator, x minus 3 and x, they don't have any factors in common. So what's the LCD here? Well, it's the product of the two denominators, which in this case is x times x minus 3. Now, if you want to multiply and, tell, and say it's x squared minus 3x, that's fine, but I'm going to leave it like this. Okay, let's take a look at the next example. All right, so for this, this example, we are going to have to factor the denominator. So I'm going to start with x cubed plus x squared minus 6x. I can factor out a GCF of x. And then I can factor the trinomial as x plus 3 and x minus 2. So 2x squared minus 5x plus 2. This can be factored as 2x minus 1 times x minus 2. OK, so the least common denominator well, what factors do they have in common first? x minus 2. This is to the first. This is to the first. So we're going to have x minus 2 to the first power. So what other factors are in either denominator? I'm going to start up here. That's an x. I'll put that in front. But they also has a factor of x plus 3. What other factors are in the second denominator? Well, that is 2x minus 1. So the least common denominator are these four factors being multiplied together. And again, I'm not going to multiply all that out. I'm going to leave it like this. All right, so now let's take a look at the next example. Again, the first thing I need to do is to factor each denominator. x squared minus 9, that is a difference of two squares. That's x minus 3 and x plus 3. Trinomial. That is factored as x plus 3 times x plus 3, which is the same thing as x plus 3 squared. OK, least common denominator. Let's talk about the factor that they have in common. Now, similar to, a, to the very first example that we looked at with these, they both have a factor of x plus 3. So when this happens, we take the larger exponential power. This is x plus 3 to the first. This is x plus 3 squared. So the least common denominator, the LCD, will be x plus 3 squared. So then the only other factor that's missing is this x minus 3 from the first denominator. So our least common denominator in this particular case is x plus 3 squared times x minus 3. 